Hey everyone, it's Adrian. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, I'm going to improve bad engineering. Now, every episode is not going to be me. Is not going to be me uh, improving someone else's engineering. But today, uh, since I had access to the parts and could figure this out, I decided to do so. I've got a 2005 Ford Excursion. Uh, so we've got a product that was designed uh, and engineered probably three decades ago and started rolling off the line 25 years ago. However, on the middle seat, uh, there's a back flap on that seat. Uh, the purpose of that back flap is so that when the middle seats are folded forward and the back seat is pulled out, those seat flaps can be put down so there is one smooth surface from the middle of the vehicle all the way to the back. And that allows 4x8 sheets to be stacked. It allows fence posts to be stacked. Any sort of dimensional lumber you would want can be stacked inside the vehicle on one flat surface. Those flaps were held up by Velcro, a hook and loop closure. And after, uh, after 20 years, uh, my Velcro had completely failed. I was able to find uh, clips that came from a Ford Expedition uh, on eBay and those Ford Expeditions had the same seat backs, so there was already a, um, an inlet cut into the seat back, or at least an, uh, a, a, a detention area uh, set on the seat back. I could router that out and then install the clips so that the seats would be secured just as they would in, uh, in an Expedition. Now, I looked today, it's June of 2023, I looked today and it seemed to be uh, that there were a few options for getting those those clips on eBay uh, back when I ordered mine and then a few months leading up to them the the options um, were pretty sparse so Ford's come a long way and done a lot of cool things on vehicles but this velcro closure on the back of this seat to keep this seat back up against the seats not one of them and the purpose of this is to pop that over so you can get a clean sweep all the way across from the back uh, all the way up to the front. Um, I just stack plywood and drywall on top of the seats. But if you take the back seat out and fold the front seats down, you can get a lot of 4x8 sheets of whatever you want in the back of this thing. So what I've got to do is you see there's an indention right there. And I've got... Um, I've got clips from uh, an expedition and essentially I'm going to put the clips in there to get um, a marking and then I'm going to cut the cloth. I'm going to cut through the material, uh, which is probably plastic, the, of the seat back. I'm going to snap the clips into place and then we'll be able to uh, put the third piece of the clip somewhere up in here so that the clip uh, can snap tight together and I'll give you a picture of what that of, of or a shot of what those clips look like so these are the clips right here there's the front that's what you'll see that will go on the back of the seat this is the button that engages the lock on the back side there that green that green lock um, is what is what holds the clip in place and this is the piece that goes on the back of the seat and then there is the middle piece and the middle piece snaps there are you can see you can see right there at the top of that clip it's a little bulbous and all that's going to do is going to snap in place with this middle piece. This middle piece right here will seat in that indent on the seat flap and then once the material and the plastic are cut out this will sit on the outside. somewhere right here so why Ford didn't do this right away I don't know um, but we are going to do our best to make it better 
I, uh, I'm a kinesthetic learner. Unfortunately, with this, <laughs> you don't get you don't get multiple opportunities. But I brought some um, whiteout to try to put on the back of this, so I can just paint those corners up, plop them down, and then I'll use a drill to clear it out a little bit. I've got a knife to cut the uh, to cut the uh, to cut the cloth, and then I've got a um, I call it a plunge cutter. It's a multi oscillating tool that'll go through the material uh, for the seat. So we'll see what we can do. Something to take note of. You see the placement of the knobs and the receivers on these. So the corners on three sides are set differently. And then this fourth corner is set down. So that's how the orientation needs to go to make sure that this part of the flap points up when seated in that indentation this is so easy to do with one hand <laughs> I'm holding this stand and I thought it would really enhance the viewer quality that I could just set a stand up and film everything. All right, so let's see how well this works. So well. So that's not gonna work at all. So now, because the paint dried, let's just see if we can push it into place and get a a pressure fitting not really so originally I was gonna paint that female receiver and plop it down on there and then have paint marks where I could drill however my paint dried out so I just used a pressure I just used some pressure and pushed down on the four corners of that receiver uh, and drilled all the way through. You can see one, two, three, four. And I'm going to cut this cloth and then I'll cut that out and then I'll cut through the other side and I will be able to snap this on the back with this on the inside and we will see how that goes uh, something to note here um, again this is a this is a 20 year old vehicle and I'm sure that the clips are <laughs> are just as old however um, when cutting that's where my hole was so I'm going to cut on that line right there you don't just want to trace the outside of this piece because the plastic that sits on that edge is what gives bite for this to be pressed together so you don't want to cut on the outside because then there's nothing for those the, the pieces to meet but if you set that plastic's going to set on the inside so it's got something to grasp. And I don't want to take these apart and put them back together many times because I don't think they were meant to come apart. And when I got them, I had to peel them apart. And it, I, it was not one pull to get four corners apart. It was four pull. It was a pull on each corner to get the corners apart. And these were kind of a doozy to find. So uh, I want to keep them as nice as I possibly can. Alright, so here we are after cutting the holes. Now, I don't want to, obviously my dexterity is nothing to write home about, but you can see this is not a perfect square because, as I said earlier, this piece right here, that female receiver sits at a different, a different height 
than its peers. Obviously, it's for orientation purposes, but it's going to sit this way. All right, so I'm going to cut this out with a plunge cutter and then get through the other side, and we're going to snap this baby together. So this is now cutting through everything. So it's cutting through the first layer of fabric. It's cutting through the plastic, and it's cutting through the bottom layer of fabric. Um, I have a tendency to start tight and have to open things up if need be. Uh, I just prefer things to be tight and not sloppy. Um, you can always open things up, but you can never really close them. So I'm probably going to have to open up the corners a little bit um, so that I can get the female part through there first. A natural question is why don't I just take the, the, the fabric off the seat? Um, I, I, I'm not one to modify things a lot. So there, there is Velcro on this side. However, it is, it is fixed. It is fixed down there. It's glued or fastened somehow. And I do not want to obstruct the integrity um, of, that, of that seal. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drill out these corners a little bit. I need to trim right there that fabric because my holes my hole I didn't get to my hole all the way but another thing another thing um, this plastic we, we know it's most likely someone's gonna use either a Dremel or a oscillating multi-tool however um, on the top side where that blade en where that blade enters that plastic's gonna get hot like it's melt like it's you know being welded or something so you're gonna have to pull some burrs away pull some burrs away from the inside all those little pieces down there so that this stuff this stuff seats flush so let me uh, get these corners drilled out and we'll be back okay so this is what i've been going for uh i started with a 7 30 seconds bit on the outside to pre-drill the holes uh and then i once i cut the initial um once i cut the initial outside of the um of the of the plastic material out i went back and reamed reamed them out uh with a quarter inch bit and then um i'm going to i'm gonna trim this fabric back however you can see that i'm pretty i'm pretty snug in the corners so um let me open this up a little bit and i'll uh, i'll give you a better look so now you can see the corners and we just take this piece, mate the male to the female, and snap it in place. You know, because everything works so much better in your head than it does in real life. So... In working to get the fit, the last piece to work around is that lip right there. And it tucks in against that edge right there. That outside edge. And I, my guess is that that is what holds the fabric in place. Because I can get a couple of them snapped... But getting all four of them snapped is a little difficult. So I would like to do this without having to trim that lip right there off. But that is where I am so far in the fitting. And once I get the fit perfect, then hopefully I can get the snap together on camera. All right. Well, you all just missed quite a wrestling match. It amazes me, and I'm no engineer. But uh, it amazes me for a vehicle that was $50,000 coming off the line 20 years ago. They couldn't have just tossed these plastic, these plastic sheets up on a CNC machine and routed, routed that out and fit this at the factory. This clamps very tightly. And you have to make sure that you 
physically feel and that you hear the four snaps to make sure that each corner of these are down. And the mechanism on this works so that this piece sits inside here and then when it is engaged that green clip comes over the top of that lip. Then on the front side to disengage you push the green clip again. So I will there's my placing right there on where it goes but you can just clip it make sure it's clipped get an imprint and I'm going to screw screw that into place and uh, cut that flap and then take that Velcro off. And then that will be one side done. All right, so we're going to call that side a wrap. Uh, I took off the, uh, I pulled the threads on the, on the Velcro and then also on the flap that came over. So uh, this side is good to go now. I think it looks pretty sharp. These, uh, I imagine by the color scheme, uh, would have been more suited for a Limited. Limited has, uh, the, the Eddie Bauer's got two-tone seats. But uh, it fits the khaki on the Eddie Bauer just fine. And then... So that's how that looks. We'll get the other side done. All right, here we are, side two. The back side, or I guess it would end up being the middle clip, is seated in the indentation right here. And instead of starting off with a 730 seconds like I did last time, I'm going to start off with a one quarter bit. All right, the second hole is cut as well as the um, fabric trimmed away, so hopefully this fit goes faster. All right, so here we are again on the second one. This, just like on the first one, that lip right there is hitting this piece of plastic so I need to trim that back um, because for the most part it for the most part it's fitting pretty well but that bottom side is just a little snug so I'm gonna trim that up and we made that one uh, those suckers are tight and I, I appreciate tight fits but I'll tell you what, you got to have the moon and the stars aligned when you're putting those uh, the male and the female pieces together. So we'll get this screwed on and this project will be completed. And one more time for good measure, both finished products. Uh, they look nicer. No doubt the clips hold nicer and no more nasty, gnarly, sloppy fifths, uh, hook and loop Velcro closure. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.